Tell us about the wall that heals. The wall that heals, there's two walls. There's the moving wall, the wall that heals. My favorite is the wall that heals that's coming to Ocean Pines. It actually has lights on top of it. At nighttime, it is just beautiful. You can stand there at night and see all the, all the panels lit up and everything. It's just amazing. They bring it in and it's such a great thing. It's, it looks exactly like the wall in D.C., except this one has the lights on top. Tell us about how you got directly involved with the wall that heals. I have so much respect for the wall and, and for people who went there and never came home. I suffer from PTSD and, and I think about a lot of the guys quite often. And anything I can do to help a veteran, I do a lot of a lot of work with vet court. I do anything a vet needs, I'll be there. The wall that heals is and the moving wall. They're, they're just so great to me. She knows when it comes to town, don't look for me, because I'll stay there eight to eight or whatever I have to. If somebody doesn't show up for the eight o'clock shift, I'll still be there, because mm -hmm. it's just it's it's a beautiful thing for me. I get to spend some more time with my buddies who didn't make it home. Tell us how we can volunteer for the wall that heals. Don't worry about being trained or anything else. I'm going to be there, which is very easy. You're, you're not going to be by yourself. You'll be with somebody else. And once you talk to one or two visitors, you'll love it because everybody has a story. Yeah. Everybody will tell you a story, and it's great stories to hear. The wall that heals is manned 24-7 the whole time it's in. Uh, it needs to have people there. They're four-hour shifts, but they go all the way through the night. Yeah. And um, But you know what? You don't know who you might meet, who you might help, um, or just to be able to spend time with that wall and just soak in what it means. All right, now it's time to tell us about the motorcycle escort. We have an escort coming in on a Tuesday. I'm not sure. I think Tuesday is the 20th. It's coming in there. And there's going to be over 200 bikes. Uh -huh. So if anybody happens to be out on Route 50 or 589, be sure to be there 3.30, 4 o'clock, something like that, and just cheer us on. Yep. Hogs and Heroes is going to be there. Yeah. 